Person for WBTV's getting answers about this multi-mile stretch of Old Monroe Road where trees have been cut down and removed. And just take a look at this. Huge piles of trees lining the side of the road there, littering the side of the road there for miles right now, and had many folks asking, what's going on here? Well, WBTV's Jason Puckett is joining us down in Stallings right now, getting some answers about this. So, Jason, what have you found out about this? I know a lot of folks are just wondering. Yeah, John, a lot of folks asking us right now. We're actually about a minute down the road right now from I-45, and this giant pile of wood behind us is just one example of the dozens, if not hundreds, we've seen along this stretch here of Old Monroe Road today. Viewer Laura D sent us this question, asking what was going on with the clearing of trees on Old Monroe Road, and this is what she's talking about. About 6.5 miles of Old Monroe from Wesley Chapel Stouts up to Trade Street in Matthews is being cleared out right now. So what's going on? Well, according to the NCDOT, this is all part of the East John Street Old Monroe Road widening project. The goal is to make the often congested road much wider. It started back in 2018, but the actual clearing of trees started recently. The piles of trees and leftover stuff have gotten mixed reactions online, some calling it an eyesore and that the area is turning into the city, others more understanding, saying it's part of the solution to increasing traffic in the area. NCDOT Rep Jen Goodwin further explained that the current widening is an early part of the project meant to clear space and let utility companies come in and move back cables and power lines. Viewer Cynthia S. also asked us what's happening with all these trees. Well, according to the NCDOT, they're being mulched up by the contractors and hauled away. Now, we spent the day going up and down Old Monroe here talking to multiple neighbors and business owners, some who actively had crews working in their yards today, taking down more trees. And similar online, pretty mixed reactions out here. Some folks saying they were frustrated to see this many trees getting torn down. Others saying they get it, that this road gets congested, and this is a step towards hopefully fixing that. NCDOT tells us that this phase will continue through the summer here and that actual construction of the roadway is expected to start in 2025. We'll, of course, keep you updated. For now, they're here live installing. I'm Jason Puckett, WBTV on your side. Jason, thank you.